Hello, Michelle Geomatics here today with another free GIS training video. Today's topic is geocoding addresses and plotting XY coordinates in ArcGIS for desktop. There are several ways to geocode addresses in ArcMap. Geocoding again is the process of going from a street address to an XY coordinate. Here I have a map of the world using one of Esri's base maps, the National Geographic world map. And I'd like to identify some locations. I'll show you two different ways to do that. One is using the Find tool. On the Locations tab, you can use one of Esri's address locators, the World Geocode Service, through ArcGIS Online. You do need to be connected to the internet. So here I'm going to type in an address. Let's type in 380 New York Street. 380 New York Street, Redlands, California, which of course is the location of Esri. And even though I don't have street data here, I'm just using a base map, it doesn't matter. I could have no data at all and still use this World Geocode service. So I'll just click on Find. And several hits come up. So when I click on one, you see it flash in the map. Let's right click and zoom to it. And sure enough, there's Esri headquarters building right at the end of New York Street. When I right click here, I have an option to add a point, add a labeled point, add a call out, and so on. So I can um, add a labeled point and it'll show the point along with the address that I typed in. So that's the find tool. And now I'll show you another method I'm going to open the geocoding toolbar. So I'll right click in gray space, click on geocoding, and you can see the toolbar opens up. And here I have access to the same Esri World Geocode service that I just showed you through the Find tool. And I can also add my own address locators, which I'll show you in just a moment. Let's use the same World Geocode service. And I can type in an address here. And when I click on Enter, it flashes. And when I right click, I have the same options. So we can zoom over to it. And I can add a point. So we'll again, I'll add a labeled point, And we can see where that address is. So let's zoom out to the full extent again. So this is one way that you can work with finding individual points. Now, the graphics that you see on the map here are not features. They're just graphics. So if you wanted to convert these to actual features, you can do that through the Draw Toolbar, which I have open and docked down here at the bottom of my interface. But there's an option to convert graphics to features. All right, I am going to clear these features. Click Delete on my keyboard. And next, I want to show you the Go to XY tool. So this tool is on the Tools Toolbar. And it allows you to input XY coordinates and plot them on a map. So it's not exactly geocoding, but sometimes you're given XY coordinates and you want to uh, see where they fall on the map. So here I've got my longitude and latitude. If I want to change the units, I can just click that little down button and change them to whatever I'd like. Now to keep this simple, I'm just going to put 0 and 0. And let's flash that point. And right in the center of the map is where 0, 0 is. I have the same options to add a point, add a labeled point, or add a call out. I can zoom over to it or pan over to it. Let's switch data frames now. I have the second data frame with street map data. Now street map data comes with Esri's ArcGIS for desktop software. So as I zoom in, you'll start to see more detail emerge in the scale dependency. So you can start to see the states and the roads and some of the major features. And if I zoom in a little closer to the Tucson area, I start to see more detail and so on. If I zoom in even a little more, I'll start to see the local roads. And this offers a different approach for geocoding. So the first ways that I showed you were relying on Esri's ArcGIS Online services, which require an internet connection. This method requires that you have your own data, or in this case data that Esri gives you, but it's stored locally on your machine. And then you can use an address locator to geocode based on the reference data that you see here. So using the geocoding toolbar, you can come up here and add an address locator. 
So I'm going to click on Add, and I've navigated to the location. I'll just go up a few levels. So here's the Esri Data and Maps. This is an older one from 9.3. There's a street map folder, and in the data subfolder, I see all these individual address locators. So the one that I've already added, I won't add it a second time, but it was this one, street addresses for the US. So I'm just going to cancel out of here. You can see that I've already added it. And we'll just choose that one from the list. So street addresses for the US. I still have the same address in here from earlier. So let's go ahead and click enter. And I see it flash. So again, I can uh, flash it or add a point there or any of the other things that we saw before. Now if you have a table of values, you can work with this toolbar to geocode an entire table of addresses as well. Thanks for watching. We offer GIS and GPS training in person and online. Please visit us at www.geomatics.com and at www.gistrainingvideos.com. This is Michelle Geomatics saying goodbye for now.